Yeah, so I've just kind of been finding something that works for me and embracing it in all its glorious messiness. So if you look here, they're about $6.50 a packet, which is why so I get three packets of these. Delivered works out at $5.85 per pack. Yeah, spend my time running around. Hello. Say hi, Peggy. <laughs> um, I've been discussing things with you. Do you mind? Um, all day in my mind and thought I should probably just pick up the camera and have a chat with you. So much going around in my head right now. I don't even hardly know where to start. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I don't know where to start. It's been a big, big few months, 12 months more. So I've been working September, October. Yeah, so about 15 months now since I started at my other job, at my job, my full-time job eight, where I kind of leave home at eight, sometimes get home 5, 30, 6, sometimes 7. Um, depending on how things are going but anyway it's been a lot and I haven't always managed to keep on top of things having said that things are probably tidier than they've ever been because I'm not all doing it I'm not doing it all myself so that's been good everyone else has been stepping up we have a little system and routine that is generally working for us um, yeah, it depends on the day of the week. Ouch. Thank you. Thank you. She is fierce. She is a terrier through and through. Um, I don't know if I properly introduced Peggy to you all. Well, this is Peggy, the little psycho. She is an Australian silky terrier crossed with a poodle. And she is fierce. So fierce. Um, she is the boss. Hello, so it is Sunday the 29th. I think I said in a previous little clip that I would have edited over by now that that was Sunday the 27th. That doesn't even exist this year, so I don't know what I was thinking, but here we are. Okay, so I have been literally lazing around in bed. Actually, I slept until 7 o'clock, which is virtually unheard of for me. I'm just putting on the little thing of me on the bottom of the camera. Anyway, um, yeah, 7 o'clock sleep in. That's huge. Normally, I'm still up at 5, 6 on a weekend. So, I thought I would just take you through. I was just checking if there's any water in here. Rather than looking in, I just like, yeah. Anyway, it has water. Does this one? This one has water too. I tried to clip it up so that... <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't showing you what I was doing. So I got one in here, but it just falls in like that. So, I don't know. I'll play around with that today and try and figure something out. <clears throat> Distraction mode. Okay, lazing around all morning. Time to get moving. Thought I would get some editing done today. Um, and uploading. And just getting stuff done. Start by clearing my bedside table, which is a right royal hot mess. And making the bed and then just a quick tidy up around the place. Sadie started to go, but I haven't done poo patrol, which means in case the puppy went inside overnight, just wanted to do poo patrol before, you know, because I've seen those videos where the vacuum cleaner is. Okay, um, something I did yesterday was set up my November, December and January calendars. I am not ready for January. That just blew me away. But something that I did, and this is, these have been a game changer. This last, I'll turn this way so the light's better. But they have just been fantastic. I think I've had them up for about a year now. Um, camera shoot. Uh, they're just great. I just need to see three months at a glance. It just helps me to keep on track, see how things are going. Um, that's just how my brain works and I've just embraced it. That's 
been a number one big change recently. I've really just tried to embrace who I am and what works for me and what doesn't work for me rather than try to be something that I'm not. I've never really done that because I knew I couldn't be in this is perfection. Don't mind the kids, they're playing Roblox. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I've just kind of been finding something that works for me and embracing it in all its glorious messiness and just going with it. So, like I said, these big calendars I got from Officeworks. You could probably get some on Amazon, whatever. I'm not the kind of person to really link stuff, but if you want to, there is an Amazon shop front in my description box. You can go check it out. I don't really know how it works, but I think I've done it right. Anyway. <laughs> I hope this has been a game changer. So on it, I kind of just list the big events. So, um, you know, days that I'm taking off, any paydays, any public holidays, any, uh, yeah, just big events. And it's kind of getting neater and neater as I go along. So this is January, obviously. And I've started because this will be the January, April, July and October calendar. So. At the bottom, I've put the school holidays and the public holidays that are going to be relevant because I've wiped this off, obviously, in February. And then, yeah. Does that make sense? Okay, so what happens is, so this November 1, I will take it down at the end of November and wipe it all off and it'll go over here and it will be February. So move these along and then, so every month I just move one along. What's going on? Brown, I made. We'll put her down. Cheapest. Um, yeah. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Anyway, it's been working fantastic. Every month, just move it along. So I've just got always got three months at a glance. Um, I have moved November over, even though it's still October. But it's not bad luck because C. Oh, kind of is. I guess. I have this thing about um, thinking that you need to have the calendar showing till the end of the month, like you can't turn it over. It's okay to be late, but it's not okay to be early, but let it go, Mel. Let it go, it's fine. It's fine, it's not bad luck. It's fine. It's just a crazy thought in my head. Okay. Okay. I need to go sort some stuff out. Okay, so it's much later in the morning i have no shoes on can't find them peggy obviously took them i haven't had my smoothie and my greens whatever yet so i'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna head off and i probably won't check in again until later so see you later okay it's very dark keep in the light uh it is what time seven ish ten to seven so i'm just heading out of town again to pick up rose um, I had a pretty good day, all things considered. The meeting that I thought I had wasn't on, so winning. Um, but Maeve took Jonah trick-or-treating and Rose has been out at a friend's trick-or-treating. So I'm going to go pick her up now. What's going on out here? Do you think you should have that before you have dinner? Yes. I'm not going to open that for you. This is your booty. <laughs> that if you can't open it then you can't eat it that's the rule it's probably not something to eat right now <laughs> and this is what we have for dinner it is chicken wings honey soy chicken wings but I didn't really like it set right on the camera I'm talking softly because the kids are not awake yet and I am so not feeling it today I actually have a bit of a sore throat but I'm going to do kitchen reset again um, 
it looks worse than what it is, to be honest. That was just stuff that was left over from yesterday. That was, yeah, anyway. Just gonna quickly reset it, um, get some washing on as well, because it's Wednesday. And yeah, I'm just watching the dogs outside play, because they're so cute. Oh, that's such good dogs. <laughs> she really loves Bruce. Oh, my one's going to see what's going on over here. This is all a mess. We need to clean up this up. But, uh, I might go outside for <sighs> Poor old Bruce, he had enough. He, Pegs is trying to play with him. I think she relates to him because he's the same color, I guess. I don't know. And she was trying to play with him and he roused at her. <laughs> so... My alarm is going off for whatever reason. It says, get off your phone. Okay, let's just do greens and I might do some journaling today. Seriously, dog? Seriously? Um, and hopefully I might go for a walk this afternoon. I do need the exercise. Today's a big in office day. Oh, Brucey looks like he's got a sore foot. Let me check it out. Okay, he was fine. Um, I am now just made my smoothie, my green juicy thing, and I'm out of green. I'm out of greens. Is what I'm trying to say. So hopefully, the new one that I ordered arrives today because I don't know how to start my day without it already. I just love it. What I thought I would do, although it's not active, um, I will reply to the comments on my last upload, which was a grocery haul. I didn't try very hard, to be honest. I just like, put it up because I wanted a video up for the end of October. So I need to just get better at that. But I'm going to reply to the comments there. Why am I so breathless? Um, and that inspired me to actually edit this video, for example. Okay, so my hair. Should I wash it? Because I'm trying to train it to not need washing every other day because I just don't have the interest <laughs> to do it every other day. And because if I do it every other day, then I'm gonna need to dry it every other day. I just don't know what to do. Talk about first world problems. I think I could get away with it one more day. What do you think? I mean, it feels, but it looks okay. I don't know. Because I always tend to play with it so it gets oilier than what it should. But maybe if I just kind of like plait it up or something, I'll be okay with it. Thanks for listening to my first world problems. Okay, so I thought I would just show you. I actually just, after having a conversation with some friends on YouTube about the cost of the peanut butter, which I have no idea, was crazy. I ended up checking on Amazon and I can get the same size container delivered for $7.15, which I think is just a little bit cheaper, but at least it would be delivered and it will stay this consistent price regardless of the price increase. Um, Peggy and Star are fighting, so I better go deal with it. I thought I would show you the other things that I get delivered consistently. So obviously that hasn't... So I just arrived, I got this peanut butter, seven fifteen per tub. I get these... Arnott's shapes and I get them for let's see how much um, so off the top of my head I pay six dollars fifty per packet so it's seventeen fifty five but in the shops let's have a look at how much they are there so if you look here they're about six dollars fifty a packet which is what they compare to on Amazon however by doing the subscribe and save, I saved myself a bigger dollar ninety-five, which I know is not a lot, but it adds up. If you're saving two bucks per item, like 
it comes up pretty like a fairly big saving so it's not per item on this particular thing but per order is what i mean so, so i get three packets of these delivered works out of five dollars 85 per packet which is you know good savings on what you're paying in the shops plus it stays that price so even though um, you know, I'm thinking like prices in the shops are going to increase, increase, increase. At least this will remain the same. Shapes. What are they? These are the Arnott's family variety shapes. I get those delivered. They work out $5 a packet, but with the discount, I save $1.50. So I'm already up to $5 on savings. So here's another example. I get these Smith's potato chip variety packets at $7.49 a packet but because I get it delivered on the subscribe and save I save 10% so I only pay $26.96 so um, I save $3 which is you know it all adds up quite frankly it adds up hello it is 7.30 coming up to bed and lighting is shocking but there it is Hey Google, turn on the master bedroom light. Okay, turning on the master bed. Hello, it is 7.30. Um, I've been home, I think I got home around 6 tonight, so that's pretty good. On my second beer, because I never drink on a bad day. And it was not a bad day, so. Mm. I don't know, I don't make a habit of drinking but this felt like a beer tonight so I've had two <laughs> um yeah it wasn't a bad day lots of meetings back to back I don't mind those lots of laughing I work with the most amazing people I'm not gonna lie and I just was in hysterics today it was just lots of laughing which is really nice um to be fair I, re I really love dry sarcastic humor so um thankfully i work with a lot of people with very dry sarcastic humors and you've really got to have a sense of humor because i think it's um it's as much as individual personalities but it's also like a cultural thing in australia for australians to kind of like i want to say what i want to say but it sounds really crass <laughs> hang shit on each other so um yeah basically tease one another it's such a crass expression but it's what was coming to my mouth so yes i do enjoy that workplace environment where we are just kind of teasing one another and just having a laugh it's it's a lot of fun and um yeah i laughed a lot today anyway um, I didn't get a lot of work done. I'm not gonna lie, I tried, but I was just anyway. I will say that I think my lack of focus today was definitely directly related to the fact that I did not exercise this morning, and that's on me. So I'm going to try and break that tomorrow. I do have a doctor's appointment at eight fifteen tomorrow, though. So, um, yeah what will be will be my husband made um one of our favorite dishes of the week which is chicken drumsticks with those um in my last aldi haul i showed those frozen vegetables that we get like the pasta no potato bake and all the rest of it so we had that for dinner and he crumbs or kind of seasons these um chicken legs we just get those two kilos of chicken legs from aldi we actually use four kilos in a meal now because everybody loves it and it's very rare to have a dish that everybody in the family enjoys so we have that at least once a week I'm not gonna lie and sausages last night oh no two nights ago and last night we had the um honey soy chicken wings which I didn't love but anyway um two nights ago we had the steak and chips with the creamy sauce so that was good so that's pretty good we've I can't remember what we had before that but we're doing pretty well we spend a lot a lot a lot of money on takeaway I'm not gonna lie it's disgusting quite frankly so I'm trying to break that habit trying to be more prepared 
anyway it's quite cool this evening i'm just sitting down watching some youtube videos having a couple of beers gonna set myself up in bed the battery on this thing is about to go flat so i don't know when i will pick it up again but um yeah just thought i would check in say good day so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything